Happy Tuesday. If you're new here, I, my name is Sonia and I'm a third or second year, almost third year PhD student studying math in Canada. And I like to make academic style blogs as well as sometimes videos on topics relating to grad school. In Canada, yesterday was a holiday, so I decided to chill and not do any schoolwork. But then when I was going to sleep, I realized Oh no, I have a meeting today because usually I have my meetings on Tuesday, so I have the weekend and then Monday to like do some stuff before my meeting. And then yesterday I was like, oh no, I didn't prepare for my meeting and I couldn't sleep <laughs> because I was stressed about that. So now I'm just being sleepy and I still haven't reviewed what I want to talk to that what I want to talk about with them but I have like 25 minutes to do that and I've been working on a lemma which I need to prove something interesting but this is a technical lemma and it took me like all week last week to do it because it was really annoying and I just have to I had these two sums I wanted to cancel out and you just have to do some like fiddling with the indices and stuff like that to make it work and I finally did it so I think I'm just gonna tell them how I did that and say sorry I didn't really do much more but that was really tedious to work on and I'm glad it's over so I just need to remind myself the technical things that I have done in regard to that lemma and then hopefully because of that it'll be a quick meeting because as you may have noticed I don't really like my Zoom meetings, I, they make me tired and I always feel like I'm not prepared even though it turns out okay. But yeah, I'll keep you posted on how everything's going. I hope everyone had a good July and now that it's August, they said we'll probably be going back to school like in person in September, which I'm really happy about. Excited for the new semester to come. Uh, so how's everything going with you guys? Are you going to go back into in-person stuff in the fall? Are you excited for fall stuff? Or I guess like most grad students, the summer is nice because you don't have to TA. So maybe some of you are dreading starting um, school semester starting again. Yeah, let me know. Hey, so did not get much done today as I thought I would, but I blame my lack of sleep for not being able to focus, but at least my meeting went well, so we basically recapped what we've done. And, like, I've been like into details, into weeds a lot recently, and we just kind of step back and look at that, the big picture, and basically had all, all our, our main like steps, like this implies this, one implies two, two implies three, whatever they are, and eventually we have all this logic stuff and at the end we'll get an if and only if statement so that's nice and that will be our next theorem so I don't think I'm gonna do much more today to be honest I'm really struggling <laughs> to be productive lately I don't know if it's just the summer or wearing down of being like not at school for over a year or whatever I don't know but is what it is I'll try again tomorrow <laughs> I'm gonna go to the public library tomorrow so that should help me and I'll try to not go to sleep so late um, I don't know if you guys have this problem who are on the North America side of the world but I'm going to sleep much later these days because I just want to watch the Olympics even if it's a sport I don't really watch normally I just get sucked into the hype of it all and the next thing I know it's like 12 30 at night and then I try to go to bed and then I can't and ruining my studying but at least I got the big picture stuff sorted out with my advisors and I wrote it down and made it look pretty and did one thing today better than zero things 
Hello again. Um, I forgot to mention, I actually did two things today. So, I don't know if you've heard of the website italki. I, I heard about it a long time ago and just never really tried it, but basically it's... This is not sponsored at all, by the way. Uh, basically, it's just an online platform where you can find teachers who teach languages. So today I had a lesson with a French teacher and our lesson is basically we, we just talk about it. We chat and she corrects me and it actually went really well. I'm happy with it. And I think as someone who lives in Canada that I should know how to speak French. I can read and listen, listen for the most part, um, but speaking I trip up so much. So maybe I'll make a video on that one day, like after a few months, see what the progress was. Uh, but yeah, that was a positive thing today. Good morning! So as you saw yesterday was not a successful day but I think I slept better today and we're about to go to the public library and it's the second time I've been there this year only and I'm someone who loves libraries so yeah hopefully I'll get some more stuff done. My goal for this week is I have a meeting on Friday and I'd like to prove one more thing by then so I'm like today's Wednesday so I have two days two full days to try and do that hopefully it's okay so I'll update you guys later and hope you guys ha had a good Wednesday as well So I'm on my way home from my first violin lesson in like almost a year and it reminded me to or made me like kind of realize something that should probably be mentioned. So my last violin lesson was like September or October of last year and then since it's been like a weird year and like I was used to having lessons every week and stuff to work on and I was used to practicing every day before everything <laughs> went wrong. I, I haven't been practicing that much, like only a few times a week, if that, and like I'll just play random things, like I don't have anything I was specifically trying to work on or anything. So today before my lesson I was like, oh my god, like I'm so rough with everything, she's gonna be like, why, why wasn't she working on stuff like in my mind, I thought my teacher was like expecting me to keep on practicing like an hour every single day and like on top of stuff, <laughs> but really like that wasn't the case and she was like, you know, she she just asked me like what I've been doing and wasn't judging me or anything for not practicing that much and we just like started, basically we kind of like started fresh and not really based on what I was doing like a year ago so that was nice and that got me thinking that I know a lot of people especially grad students tend to think they're not doing enough or they're not good enough they're not smart enough they're too lazy or whatever and my point is that if your advisor or whoever is not specifically telling you that you're not doing enough or you're not good enough, you're probably doing fine, just like how I was doing fine here. Um, so I gotta remember to tell myself that too because I'm always worried that I'm not good enough to <laughs> pee in grad school and all that. And this is something called imposter syndrome, which I want to make like an in-depth video about where I actually do more research on it and stuff. But it's nice when you have some sort of like experience where it tells you like, oh, actually, you're doing just fine. So if you're listening, you're probably doing just fine and you 
you don't need to worry so much, which I know it's hard to do. And just try to remember that it's been a strange year and a half and I'm sure people's expectations have shifted with how the world has been going and everyone, your advisors and people, they're all human so they're not robots. Hopefully hearing that helps some of you. By the way, studying at the library was really good, like it makes me can't wait to get back to school again and be able to study there because somehow like being in this quiet place where everyone around you is working on stuff makes you like I just feel kind of happier to be studying there and I'm able to like I stayed there for two hours and I was able to come in and like have the mindset of I'm going to study and then I was able to do my focus work for two hours so that was good whereas at home sometimes I can do that sometimes I can't but usually if I go somewhere 